second couch, I must say, Frankie. Check it out. We've got uh, some of the members of Ill Scarlet. So good to have you guys here. Thanks for having us. Uh, it's been a while, my friends. Five years, and we're so excited to hear your latest sounds. Your new album drops Tuesday. You've got a, a release party happening Friday. We've got lead singer Alex, and we've got drummer, Sw I'm going to mess it up, Swavik Piarkowski. Did I say it right? That's very good, very oh, good. thank yeah. goodness. Woo! So talk to us a little bit about what we can expect. I know you've had some fancy schmancy people on board to work with you on this. Yeah, we have a brand new record coming out, uh, like say, on Tuesday. We work with David Conn in New York. And um, we have our friend Mark Roberts from OAR on the record with us. Yep. And uh, we've been writing it for the last four or five years. And now it's finally ready to go. And you, you, you've been busy touring, too. Yeah, we've been, you know, in those five years we've been touring. We've done, uh, we've done America and Europe. We went to Japan, went to China, did Canada. Cool. I don't know how many times. So, we, so we've been busy. So, can you tell us a little bit about like Japan and China? The differences there. I know. Uh, differences from here? Well, just differences between the two countries. Do they know they're your music? Yeah. 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 Um, well, uh, Japan was really cool. We played with a band called Zebrahead, and um, lot, lots of people came out to see them, and they. You know, people actually knew us before our first show. Even there were people waiting to see us, and they knew knew our names. Very cool. So that was really cool. China was a little different. It was an exchange program we did there, but we went to a lot of lot of different cities, a lot of rural cities. Yeah. And that that's a that's a little different. I mean, they don't get the the Facebook and the uh, all the social media that we have over of course, here. Yeah. So. And you brought up a good point because you actually purchased their first album. Uh, well, it wasn't it wasn't your first, but the the one two years ago, or I guess two albums ago. Yeah. Yeah. All and it had Life of a Soldier on it, which was my favorite favorite song. And you knew that the Horseshoe, which is where your release party is happening one week from today, yes. was the original. Uh, Our first show. show for you. So yes. how does it feel, 13 years later, guys, to be back there doing your thing, living the dream? Or it's old. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same way, right? <laughs> well, we're excited. We're going back to our hometown roots, and I think our record also is kind of uh, going back to what we used to do. Yeah. And, uh, it, you know, we made it a little different, but... You sound awesome in soundtrack. What, do you remember anything from your first show? Yeah. Like, how did the first show go? Oh. Was there, like, some hiccups? Oh, God. I, I, it, it was pretty good. It yeah, was pretty good. I it was, like, we, a Thursday or something. And we played uh, a bunch of covers, because we, we didn't even have enough songs to actually fill a full set. So, You've got a repertoire now, um, and you're going to yes. hear their latest. It's coming up in about 10 minutes' time. We're going to go do a little live eye, check in with news, and then Ill Scarlet performs. And we've got a chance for you to win a signed copy of the CD and tickets to that release party happening at the Horseshoe, as we mentioned, next Friday. Go to breakfasttelevision.ca, click on contest, hit them up via Twitter at Ill Scarlet. They're up for anything. You ready to perform? Down for whatever. I'm going to stick to doing this. You stick to singing. We're going to warm up more BT after this.